The Empire graciously welcomes you to Vos Orbital. Ambassador Yoran deeply regrets that he was unable to greet you personally. I've been instructed to emphasize the delicate situation you're walking into before you head for the surface. The Ambassador is concerned that your business could jeopardize the Empire's interests on Vos. Whatever problems you got here, I'm sure I can take care of them for the right price. You don't understand. Every single thing you... we do here is scrutinized and used as leverage in negotiations. The Voss are stubbornly isolationist and abundantly aware of their own value to the Republic and the Empire. It is vital that the Empire fosters goodwill. You must remain on your best behavior. I'll conduct myself accordingly. It's the nature of your profession that has the Ambassador concerned. The Voss abhor discord and don't tolerate violence within their territory. You'll mix peacefully with the enemy here. The Voss revere their mystics. D deal carefully with them, or, or preferably not at all. Also, outsiders are barred from Voskar proper. Don't pick fights. Be polite. Stay out of Voska. Understood? I will let Ambassador Yoran know to expect you. Head to his office once you've landed. Have a safe visit. So we all have to play nice. At least until we assess the situation. I vote we enjoy whatever peace and quiet we can get. You came promptly. Thank the stars. The less time you spend mixing with the locals, the better. I trust my aide was quite explicit in informing you of the need for discretion here. I'm aware of your concerns, Ambassador. You haven't heard half of my concerns, Bounty Hunter, but this business with you is at the top of the list. That said, I look forward to being rid of General Redrish. That woman will be the death of me, if you aren't. I was told I'd be dealing with a Kawadi noble, not a Republic general. They are one and the same. General Thelonia Redrish is a well-respected member of Kawati aristocracy, a philanthropist and a revolutionary. The Empire has lost a number of newly conquered worlds due to her interference, and we may well lose this one unless she's removed. Unfortunately, we're going to have to take the roundabout course. Push her into the open. Any persons or interests she'd have a personal stake in protecting? Imperial intelligence suspects that she's behind the guerrilla attacks on our forces here, but we can't prove it. I believe your best course of action would be to root out General Redrish's officers in the field and gather evidence of her involvement. You have names? Whereabouts? I'm afraid casualty reports are all we have to go on. You'll have to search around the ambush points for signs of the enemy. Take this hollow recorder. If you make any discoveries, transmit the evidence to my frequency. If you insist, but I'll want copies from my scrapbook. Oh, for my own sanity, I'm going to pretend you're taking this seriously. Perimeter, report. Perimeter. Those charges, Prime Sergeant. Hands up. One wrong move and you're dead. You heard the man. Hands off the charges. No time for that now. Hit him with everything we've got. It looks worse than it is. They were counting on the explosives to finish the job. I want to know what they were hoping to cover up. Might take a little while to clear out the detonite, but the consoles should only be a couple minutes. Piece of cake, it's all yours. What would I ever do without you? 
Probably kick it a few times and curse a lot. Hawk's nest compromised. Full retreat. Operation Cleveland underway. Final transmission. Harrier 1 out. Harrier 1 to Peregrine. The garrison at Fort Cadenta appears to be sending out patrols of Imperial troops. Flights recalled and circling. What's the situation, General? Please advise. Peregrine has to be General Redrish. Harrier 1, expect more. Yorin's convinced the Voss to allow Imperial troops to bolster Voskha's defenses against the Gormak. Monitor their patrols. If they stray too far, show the Voss how ill-prepared Imperials are for Gormak attacks. Peregrine out. That'll teach him not to scrub the drives. I've got something for you. Transmitting now. Now? What have we here? Oh, this is better than I could have hoped. I might even convince the Voss to hand her over for trial with this. Are you putting me on standby? You've done everything you can out there. Better we not tempt fate. I'll handle things from here. Return to my office and lay low until I return. Hunter, have you returned? Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, stop. I need you here immediately. I can move as soon as you give me a destination. I'm at the assembly hall on recess from our hearing. The Voss have agreed to hear the accusations I've made against General Redrish, but they've also agreed to her request to face her accuser. She named you specifically to be called to account and submit to questioning. Definitely sounds like she's up to something. She'll likely make a spectacle of you, but we don't have much choice. This is the Assembly Hall's location. Hurry, I don't want the Voss to think we're stalling. I apologize that the Empire has decided to waste your time today. You won't smooth things over with a smile this time. The evidence of your guilt is as plain as day. Your hollow recordings? I was really expecting you to have fabricated something a little more tangible, Ambassador. And your only witness is a known terrorist. You people set all that up to make me look bad. Sounds familiar. You're a Mandalorian. Your people have made unprovoked acts of war against the Republic, and conducted genocides against entire species. Do you deny it? Only if you deny your Jedi nearly wiped the Mandalorians out before they turned on you. I'm not here to debate history with you. Tell us, how do you acquire this evidence of yours? Your subordinates provided everything I needed. That's... preposterous. I won't stand here and listen to the Empire slander me. The Empire expects you to take the word of a hired killer, instead of a respected official who's proven her commitment to the Voss people time and again. You will remember it is I who agreed to make the pilgrimage to the Shrine of Healing, to show my solidarity with the Voss. An idle promise. <laughs> my associate can just as easily agree to make this pilgrimage. Then take the trials, outsiders. That will reveal true character. We have concluded. You have shown us much. Safe journeys. Hedging my questions was smart. A shame the Ambassador had to open his mouth and seal your fate. I've spent months preparing for the trials. They're going to kill you. Ambassador? You shut her up right quickly. She wasn't expecting you to handle yourself so well. I'll requisition a little bonus for your performance. Keep it up. As to this trials business, I had to show the Voss we are willing to do anything the Republic will do. You understand? Not exactly what I'd call a victory, Ambassador. We rushed things. But we got her to show her hand. This pilgrimage to the Shrine of Healing might be our opportunity to strike. These trials are obviously deadly. If General Redrish were not to return from her pilgrimage, it would hardly be unexpected. 
I'll keep on her trail until an opportunity presents itself. Faith Kai is an influential figure at the Pilgrim Camp and is not hostile to us. See if he has any insight on getting you into this Shrine of Healing. Outsider, my master saw you were coming. He awaits in the Cloister of Meditation. Thought you were the healers, not the prophets. What? You are... This is a misconception. A mystic is a mystic. You will see him. Yeah, I'll see him. The cloister of meditation is near, but secluded. Follow the silence. Pilgrims are so few now, and outsiders. I heard you had a vision about me. I know of your coming. Change has come to Voss. Voss must come to change. The outsider woman you seek will be the agent of that change. Is she planning something? She believes coexistence with the Gormak is possible, but someone must give voice to it. I believe that voice is hers. You will not silence it. Hey, what gives? You guys aren't supposed to be taking sides. Stay in peace, and leave in time. No harm will come, unless you resist. You break your neutrality, you regret it. We are prepared for force. Restrain him. My gift is not foresight, but I see your fate is not for us to decide. That mean you won't try anything else? We cannot stop what must come to pass. The human woman has gone. She has left for Gomakos. Our hope goes with her. She can't have gone far. I do not know her journey's path. Commanders stand vigil over Gomakos. Their commander may witness the outsider's passing. If word of this scuffle gets out, I'll be paying you another visit. The fault was ours. Go in peace. Outsider, rest. Take shelter. Return home. Only Gormak territory lays beyond. I'm looking for a woman, another outsider. She was headed for Gormakos. She has found it. An outsider woman fell victim to Gormak attack. The Gormak attacked. She surrendered. She wasn't looking for a fight. Normally, the enemy knows only murder. The woman was taken towards the Gormak beast pens. Her fate is sealed. Show me where they took her. I will point out the place. Be cautious. Oh boy, I don't think we're the crowd favorite. Kimaki or Vagetochum. I mean, swan, Tom Bubbles. I say, did you go and me go and boss? Don't most of them in Kyoto Voka. And ma, so if I go for the lion soon, Nata. Hand over the outsider you captured. And nobody else has to get hurt. The song of Van Gramakvan, catch you then! Nay, so fun, dear, go nada neva, ay, ak nana ni matan. Ve ko ni go banglai, cho fe, nak chong, atam so. Well, 
Black Pan Fam Tau, Tak Rat V Pam Lao Grom. Grom Ati Boy Kon Kami Ka Lampu? You aren't the only ones who want to see her punished. I come the band at Tam Sawbori Ki. No one agrees. Wale Kon Patron Di Gai Tupa. We've got common interests. We should work together. Huawaska, Bam Kiv Nukungham Trong Wan Lao, the Chao Troksha. Better late than never. Oh, I wish say, Habram, La no we can one big country. I'll show you the ropes if it gets me out without trouble. Wa Ming Kwang, Kam Ji Wan Kwamak Ji Lan Fa. You song me fan, Gramak Fan. Catch you then. Got the hang of this pretty quickly. Shame I can't stick around. Then for for the time, Achnan Chok Tontai, they they go Nesafun. No one a grossai, wale kong patrong di gay tupa. Then for for the time, Achnan Chok Tontai, they they go Nesafun. We go away, that boy, Chakamra. Come on, we, why, hey, Triole. I'll try not to lose my head. Come, Nico, why, bam, we will chop my file, I am gore, soon, nay, I am sayo. Huavaska, bam, give the bungham, trong one blow, the chow, trong sha. I expected we'd cross paths again, but not here. You're keeping interesting company these days, General. It's not hard to find people who share a desire for peace and prosperity. A Mandalorian wouldn't understand. I'm so close to getting these people on speaking terms, and you're about to throw it all away. For what, money? Tell me you're not that petty. You're between me and a man spouting lies. Nothing personal. I think that's a small sacrifice for peace. Nothing personal. Show him what you're made of! Wait! Cease fire! This is a losing battle. If you're giving up, get on with it. You've done all you can. This is my fight to lose. This is a pivotal moment in this planet's history. I won't let our squabbles get in the way. If you'll allow these Gormak to return home, I'll lay down my weapon. You're gonna sacrifice yourself for perfect strangers? No. I'm going to keep them from sacrificing themselves for something as insignificant as my life. Jedi and Sith waged war here centuries ago. Both manipulating these people into fighting their battles for them. It's all painted here on these walls. Now, we've come full circle. These people deserve better than to be exploited by galactic politics. Give them a fighting chance. Couldn't care less about the Gormak. You think they'll really make peace? I hope so. Thank you. Go. Others need to know what we found here. Do what you came to do. Hold that pose. I had her pegged all wrong. We're done here. I've captured General Redrish. You're back. Oh, I hadn't heard one word since you left for the trials. I thought she'd got the best of you. I suppose no news is good news, in this case. If you'd raised any... 
Whatever General Redrush's plans were, it seems we've avoided the fallout. Chasing her was like running through a minefield. Debating her wasn't much different, but arguably less deadly. This is the most relieved I've felt in months. I might even actually sleep tonight. Take this with my gratitude. It'll complement the sum of credits Darth Tormund sent quite nicely. Your gratitude is appreciated, Ambassador. I'll send word of your success to Darth Tormund promptly. Farewell. <laughs>